and welcome. We have another wonderful Thursday live for you today. Thank you all. We have a big crowd already. Thank you so much for already chatting in the comments and everything. It's super exciting to see. So yes, we have another announcement today. It's our November of announcements. Very exciting. I'm Amber. I will take your questions and give them Gabriella or answer them as I can. So please ask anything in the comments. And then most importantly, what we're all here for, Gabriella Hernandez. Yay! Hello, hello, welcome everybody. And I am so excited every week I get to show you something new. So this week, uh, I know you've all been asking because because we read all your comments, we read all your suggestions, and I know that you've been asking. So we decided to go ahead and put these out. So introducing the Besame nail colors. So yay. now, yay! Now you can... Full audience for me. <laughs> so now you have, uh, we started with our five most popular shades and we made matching polishes for them. Uh, six actually, six matching shades. So we have our six top selling shades and, uh, and we matched them to the lipstick. So now you can get your matching nail and lip colors. Uh, so I'm going to show you the ones that uh, we have and uh, here they are. So um, in order here, we have uh, Cherry Red, Besame Red, Dusty Rose, Red Velvet, Chocolate Kiss, and Victory Red. So uh, yeah, so all our top selling shades and I painted my nails are uh, one of each color so that you can see them. <laughs> yeah. uh, you get a whole rainbow. Yeah, and I borrowed- The best of my rainbow. I, I, I borrowed this nail from this side to get all six. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but you can kind of see here, it starts with uh, cherry uh, here, and then uh, best of my red, and dusty rose and red velvet and chocolate kiss and victory red yeah and these are exact matches of the lip colors right? yes 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 so you can i painted all of them so you can see they kind of alternate on all the shades <laughs> so <you can> see. <laughs> i just had fun painting on my nails different shades here yeah. but yes so again this one was a cherry uh and then you have besame red uh let's see but yeah there i am um, or move your can move your hand down just there you yeah. go yeah you right there that's great enough yeah there yeah ah okay <laughs> besame red and dusty rose and red velvet Oh. and chocolate kiss yeah we and had some people saying chocolate kiss for thanksgiving is gonna be there yes it's a really color. Nice color uh yeah uh you can see it better on this nail i have it on this nail too uh nice. so that's yeah. the, the chocolate kiss color it's kind of nice for fall because it's uh, like a nice warm chocolatey shade mm -hmm. um then a nice neutral is always this one too, the um, the uh, the dusty dusty rose right here mm -hmm. in the middle. This one. Right yeah, here. it's a nice option if you're not in the mood for a red, but it still yes. just looks so classic and it goes dusty mm -hmm. rose. I feel like goes with any outfit. <laughs> it does. Yeah, it it definitely does. Yes. Um, and you have your you know your holiday reds like the cherry, which is really really you know berryish color. Uh, the very red, you know, just neutral red, besame red here. Mm -hmm. uh, then the uh, velvet, which is a bit darker on this nail at the end here. Uh, so pretty. And, yeah, it looks great. and then the chocolate there. So yeah, you can see them right here. So we have the, um, this is the cherry. Mm -hmm. And it has all our flowers in gold all the way around the container. So you can see it here. Yes, you can see. Oh, it's so beautiful. And the red cap, I love. 
Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's recyclable PP, the cap, so you can re recycle if you want. Uh, you can take the brush out and recycle. Yeah, polypropylene or PP. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the short of the, what kind of material Plastic. this is. Plastic. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. These we made in Italy, actually. That's why it took so long because they were shut down for so long. So the factories mm -hmm. there took a very long time to get these caps over to us. But yeah, they, uh, this, yeah this bottle is Italian. Uh, so oh, we bought it from, from the factories in Italy. Uh, but, but yeah, this, this is one of the reasons this product was so delayed because, uh, because all of our suppliers all in different parts of the world were shut down even before we were. So a lot of, a lot of the parts we couldn't get in uh, uh, at the right time. So finally we have everything here and we can offer you these. So we're starting with these uh, and, uh, and seeing if you enjoy them uh, and, uh, and then we'll add more colors as it goes along. Uh, in uh, beginning in January, we'll add more shades for you. But, uh, but this is kind of our, are kind of the, the best sellers, the best sellers of the shades that we're starting with right now. Yeah. And is this part of a limited collection or is this going? No, no, this is, that? no, this is a core product. So it will stay in the line. So you can, you can get matching uh, lip uh, and uh, nail uh, all the time. So they'll, they'll stay, they'll stay in the line. Definitely these colors, definitely. So we had a couple of questions. Yeah. Um, with that, so yes, limited, so not limited edition, part of our no. line for sure. And then, uh, oh gosh, we had, and yes, more colors coming up. We answered that yes. question. And, yes. oh goodness, sorry, I thought I lost one. Uh, we also had, how long does the, um, how long is the product good for? So if you keep the bottle closed, about how long will the nail polishes stay good for? Uh... I'm not quite sure. Uh, maybe Nick knows the answer to that question. I thought it was on uh, the product label. I think yeah. it's 12. I think it's 12 months. Mm -hmm. 12 months. Yeah. Uh, usually that's kind of what polish is. Um, you, you can put uh, a little bit of thinner in the polish if it gets uh, you know, hard after a few months of use or if it dries a bit. But, but usually polishes last about a year. And yeah. it's, it's, it, it is definitely, it's a 12 free uh, and it's, it's made in California. So, so yes, uh, that, that is, uh, was very important to us that it doesn't contain any, any chemicals that are dangerous for you. And it's also made locally here. Uh, so, so it's not shipped from anywhere and all our materials are local. So the bottles and stuff are Italian made and then yes. all of the stuff you're actually putting on your nails or close to your skin, that's all locally. Made in California. Oh, yes. cool. Yes. Um, we have, and then, we have very stringent, yeah. uh, stringent uh, uh, regulations here in California, yes. actually, more than other states as far as like um, emissions and uh, EPA regulations and disposal regulations and solvents and all of this stuff. So, so, uh, so it, is, it is very clean polish. Uh, very long lasting too. Uh, it, it, it really wears really, really well. Uh, uh, try it and see what you think. But I've been testing these for uh, a, probably a year and a half already and, and they're very, very effective. Uh, so so uh, yeah, try them and see, tell me, tell me what you think. But, uh, but it's very high quality polish and I think you'll get a good result out of it. And can you show what the brush looks like? Uh, sure. Um, it's it's um it's one of a, the long kind of skinny brushes I guess mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see yeah it. if you want to yeah I think maybe the overhead oh that yeah if you want to hold that plot yeah perfect yeah so it's those extra a little bit longer ones yeah the extra long ones yeah uh, we found that these actually work really well to give you a nice a nice uh, even coat because you mm -hmm. you can you can load it up with more product. Yeah. Um, so I think there it is. Yeah. And what color are you holding in your hand right now? Just as a reference again. This is a cherry, cherry red. Yeah, this is the cherry red. Let's see, we had, um, oh, Ashley asked, does it have a strong odor? Uh, not any more than uh, any other polish that, uh, that you, I mean, it, it has 
you know, the, the smell of, you know, an animal. I mean, it, it mm -hmm. is, um, it is, uh, you know, it's a solvent based uh, paint. So it does mm -hmm. have the same scent that any other nail polish. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, bless you. <laughs> um, but, uh, but it dissipates uh, just, you know, when you use it, use it on a well ventilated area so that you don't, you know, have to breathe in any of the solvent fumes, but it, it's, it's basically the same type of uh, scent that any other nail polish would have. Yeah, and there's nothing added. There's no added fragrance or anything. Just no. that kind of nail mm -hmm. polish. No, yeah. Nail polish smell. Yeah, unfortunately, the uh, fragrances in the nail polish don't work that well because they don't really stay there. Um, I've, I've tested a lot of nail polishes that have fragrances in it, but mm -hmm. they dissipate very quickly and they, they don't stay in the formula very long. Uh, because they're not that compatible with the solvents in the formula, so mm -hmm. they don't necessarily last in the formula very long. Uh, they kind yeah. of go away, basically. So it's not really worth putting fragrances in, in them because they don't they don't stick around very long. Yeah. And were there any kind of inspirations behind doing the matching nail polish to your lipstick? Yes. I, I mean, if you if you look at um, uh, it was heavily done in the in the 1940s and 1950s that um, they started to pair uh, together nail color and lip color and sold mm -hmm. it as a matching set uh, because obviously it was easier to you know obviously sell two products instead of one to the lady that was already buying her lipstick and mm -hmm. she had a favorite shade so um, so the idea of matching it uh, came into being you know saying oh lip match your nails to uh, your lips. Um, so that became very popular and they were sold as sets a lot of the time where you would get a set and it would come with your nail color and your lip color together in a set. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people sold it that way. Uh, Avon sold it that way in the very, very beginning. Um, Revlon sold it that way. Uh, several manufacturers uh, sold it as, as, you know, sets that came together. Mm -hmm with uh, your lip color and your nail color. Um, and, and that's what, you know, was in fashion as far as like to, to do that as, as a yeah. practice. Uh, so, so you would, just like it was a practice to match your shadow to your dress or suit color. Mm -hmm. So you would match whatever color you were wearing. If you were wearing blue, then you would wear blue shadow. If you were wearing green, were wear a green shadow. So matching things um, became uh, more common. Uh, and, uh, and that's, I think, where uh, we started to see that really be advertised heavily all over the place in those yeah. time periods. Um, and I think it's still fun to do, you know, to, to match the color <coughs> that you're wearing uh, from your lips to your nails is kind of a fun thing to do. Um, or, or match it to a dress or something else like that. Yeah. It's kind of fun to have like matching shades uh, and things. And, uh, and, and I, you know, these colors are, are colors that are so popular over time. You know, they've been popular for so many years, these, these key colors that we, uh, we picked out that we thought it's worthwhile to do the nail color that matched it since they would have done it the, the same way back then as well. That's wonderful. I think it's such a fun trend to bring back a little bit. And it's yeah. otherwise it's really hard to try to match lip the nails when you're doing it on your own. So this just saves all that trouble. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Cause there's a lot of shades out there, but for some reason, when you go to the nail salon and you see like this whole wall of shades, you can't find the right one. You know, it's like, it's yeah. like, you know, it's like, there's like, like 50, holding up a tube. <laughs> yeah, it's like there's like 50 different reds and I can't find the right one that I want, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's kind of funny that that uh, you have so much selection and a lot of times you can't find the right shape that you actually want or that matches what you want it to match. You know? So we have a couple uh, questions. Um, yeah. How long, about how long is the drying time for the nail polish and also how is the wear, uh, wear time? The wear is very good. I, you can have this on for a week without having any problem. 
also, you know, as far as like where is concerned and how fast it dries, it really has to do with your prep. Yeah, because this is where um, where you can alter all of those things. It's not just the polish, but what do you put underneath it and what do you put on top of it? Um, because those two things make a huge difference on how long it's going to stay on, on uh, and then how fast it's going to dry and set on your nails. So with mm -hmm. the right base coat on and the right top coat on, um, it will last you easily two weeks uh, without, without budget. Oh. Um, but, but you have to prep it that way because um, if you don't, you're not giving the polish, uh, you know, the best chance of actually staying on the nail and also it protects it. You know, your top coat uh, usually protects the nail. And if you have a fast dry top coat, uh, those can, can dry the polish very, very quickly so that in about five minutes you can touch your nails and they're not like hard, hard dry, but they're dry enough that you can go about your day. Oh, awesome. Um, mm -hmm. excellent. And we'll have some steps on the website about kind of general yes. manicure techniques. So that'll be on yes. our blog. If you would like to check that out soon, it'll yes. be up very soon. Uh, yes. After all our stuff is live. And then we had, oh my gosh, why am I keep losing these questions? Uh, sorry about that, everybody. Um, well, golly, <laughs> I lost the questions. I'm so sorry. What's so great is everybody is asking, um, so much stuff and having so many fun comments. So I love it. Oh, oh a couple cool. of little things. Um, yes, on the website, you can see that these only ship in the US. That's just yes. a postal regulation. Yeah, we, we can't do anything about that. It's not us, it's actually the mail <laughs> or, or the carriers. They just yeah. won't ship uh, this product anywhere um, outside the country because of the solvents that are in nail color. So it's impossible to ship it in an airplane uh, for yeah. some reason. You know, obviously they have concerns with, with uh, flammable things. So, um, so it's, it's not us, it's just not able to be shipped uh, in, in, in any way that we know about uh, at this point. And we've tried every, every way that we could and there's no way that we can ship it. So that's why it's not available outside the country. Um, we had, uh, and, and also when you're getting these, if you're getting these today or over the weekend, mm -hmm. these are going to ship out starting the week of the 23rd. So they'll be shipped yes. out starting next week. Um, mm -hmm. That It's just a fun thing <laughs> with the holidays and everything oh, is so just, busy. It's a yes. little tiny bit of a delay in fulfillment, but that's just to let you guys know about yes. that. But yeah, that's just next week, the 23rd. I know it, that seems far away. And then I looked at the calendar and went, oh, that's. Not yeah, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> Next yes. week. Yes. Yes. Uh, we had a great question from Madison. What does the chrysanthemum on the flower of the packaging symbolize? Well, the chrysanthemum is actually my uh, birthday flower because it's the November flower. And uh, so that's one of the reasons I chose it because uh, my birthday is in November. And also, uh, I chose it because this type of design, this type of flower was very popular in the Art Deco movement uh, because of the way that you could take the petals and make, make a really deco looking, you know, design out of them. Um, so it was very popular to use in deco motifs uh, during uh, the 20s and 30s uh, and even into the 40s, the chrysanthemum was a popular motif for different things. And so I chose it because it was such a popular uh, iconic flower and, uh, and it's also very romantic and I, I and decorative. So that's another reason that I chose the chrysanthemum for our logo. And it's so beautiful. It makes everything look even classier and more lovely. <laughs> um, yes. We had another question. Are the nail polishes going to be available at the Burbank store? Yes. Oh yes, yes, they will be available at the Burbank store. Yes, so you can pick them up uh, starting next week. So when we start shipping, they'll be at the store. So starting next week, they'll be at the store, definitely. Excellent, um, wonderful. So we also have, uh, if you guys have more questions, please let us know, but we also have another uh, another little surprise announcement. Yes, so, yes, so we have for our compact, 
if you haven't gotten uh, our compact yet, we have the, uh, another powder that just came in. So the soft focus powder is actually in stock right now. So if you were waiting Yay. for soft focus, uh, it's actually in stock right now. And it's a very, very uh, light, uh, light powder as far as like what it looks like on the skin, but it blurs the imperfections when you apply it. It has a way to, uh, to make uh, lines seem a little bit less so because of the way that it reflects the light. Um, so if you'd like to give this one a try, it's uh, in stock now. So, uh, so give it a try and see what you think. Uh, it will be, yes. So it's shipping right now. This one is actually yep. available right now. So it is shipping now. So if you wanna give, uh, give the, uh, this powder a try, uh, it's, it's on the website. Uh, the other two that are uh, left will be coming very soon. Uh, we're waiting for them to arrive at our center. So as soon as they, they are there, we will let you know so that uh, you, can, uh, you can order them. And the ones missing are uh, Agent Carter and Violet, which are the two last ones that, uh, that would be on the site uh, very, very soon. Yes, absolutely. And with the soft focus powder, as you can see on Gabriella, it's it's translucent. So even though yes. it kind of looks like it could be a foundation for, you know, a yes. lighter skin tone, it's totally yes. translucent. It is. Translucent. And, yes. Yeah, it sets yeah. your makeup, but it does give you um, it has a, a reflecting particles in it that that uh, make kind of blur the imperfections because of the way they bounce the light. So that's why that one is called soft focus because it actually does that kind of an effect of being a softer, softer finish on your skin. And you use it on top of your makeup just to set your makeup. Uh, or if you're not wearing uh, makeup, you could put your um, vanishing cream on and then put this on top of it and it will do the same, same thing. A couple it just doesn't cover. The yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. Couple questions about the powder. Um, one, yeah. Is soft focus good to use on the under eyes after concealer? And also, is there any flashback with these powders? No, no, there, there is no flashback. And uh, yes, you can use it under the eyes. Uh, you can use it anywhere, actually, uh, on, on top of the eye, uh, underneath, um, on your cheeks, if you like, uh, on the, your nose and uh, in the the lines uh, here uh, around your mouth uh, or forehead lines. Mm -hmm. um, so it's good for any of that. Uh, and again, you can use it with a foundation. So if you put your foundation on, you can use this to set it. Um, or you can just use the vanishing cream and just use this on top as a very, very light uh, type of um, foundation because it really doesn't cover because it doesn't have anything that does coverage as far as like a foundation would, but it still has that light reflecting effect. So it will still do that. It will just not cover if you have, um, you know, different colorations or discolorations in your skin. It will not cover those because it's not really uh, a coverage type powder. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's such a great explanation. That's so helpful. Um, let's see. Uh, Jane Doe asks uh, if you have any plans to launch a vintage style foundation in the future. Well, if you have suggestions, let me know. I, I, I um, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just like the, 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 the vintage foundations all had, they were, they were a bit hard to use, you know, they weren't, they weren't yeah. as user friendly necessarily as they the ones are now because remember at the beginning we didn't have silicones and silicones are that like magic elixir and all foundations that make them glide and and uh, seal and all of this kind of stuff um we didn't have that back then so so a lot of the older formulas are very very chalky uh or very artificial looking you know uh like pancake for example was very artificial kind of doll like type of finish to the skin because it was it was uh, applied with a wet sponge and it dried uh, on your skin so it was like really really chalky uh, and uh, and porcelain like type type finish um, so it wasn't very real looking mm -hmm. um, uh, 
so, so the finishes were a little bit different uh, and a little bit coarser than what we have now. So I don't know if I would want to make foundation exactly the same as it was um, before, yeah. because you probably wouldn't like it very much. Um, so, so I think you, you know, you could take ideas from those products and maybe translate them into something else. Um, mm -hmm. But you know, it really depends what your preference is. You know, there was stick foundation, there was pancake foundation, there were uh, liquid foundations uh, back then, um, and the liquids were uh, either oil-based liquids or water-based ones that were really, again, very chalky type uh, foundations. Um, so, so it really, yeah, it depends what people are looking for. Um, nowadays, there's so many varieties of foundation that it's hard to say, I'm going to do one because, you know, people just have different tastes of what they like, you know, and if yeah. they want more coverage, less coverage, um, you know, a liquid coverage or powder coverage or a cream, you know, there's just so many varieties out there. Absolutely. That's so fascinating. That's a lovely, uh, like, bonus history of all the foundations <laughs> with that answer. I love it. Um, and then also, so everybody knows the site was being a little uh, finicky. The nail polish just kind of disappeared for a second, oh, <laughs> but no. they are back on, so they should be fine. They're not sold out. Um, no, no, so no. If you no, get no. that warning, just give it a second and then yes. refresh, uh, refresh your card. So that's the fun thing when you come to these lives. I mean, we need it. <laughs> We're yeah. really well, dropping you know, these things live. Yeah, I mean, yeah, technical difficulties are kind of part of the course here. I mean, you know, <laughs> uh, just remember that that we're we're working with the skeleton crew. A lot of companies are working with skeleton crews, so it's it's very hard um, to keep things all running, especially when there's higher demand on things because sure. uh, because there's just not enough people, uh, you know, doing and looking at this and servicing and making sure that things don't crash. So um, so bear with us if there are difficulties. We're trying to work. Uh, within the Shopify uh, platform, but you know sometimes there are glitches in there, so um, they're not sold out. We we just put put them up there, uh, so so they should be. If you don't see them, they should be back momentarily. Yeah, just give it a minute. It's always fun. Yeah. It's so neat because you know you guys are here watching it live. You're the only ones who know we haven't announced it on social media, nothing, exactly. and then you guys get so excited and you go to the site and then you're like, oh no, that's too much excitement. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna no. <laughs> I didn't kneel it back, so it's. Thank you so much for for yes. being that excited about it for sure. Yes. Um, we had a question about uh, shipping. Yes. So um, for any shipping prices, yeah, what the price says is what it's offering. Some of the prices are elevated again just because things are they are just slower and some yeah. and you know we have yeah, to make sure not, it gets yes. to you. So sometimes you have to use the higher tier. So we're trying to keep them as affordable as possible, but that's what they are at the very moment. Um, yeah, I mean, and prices will fluctuate right now, remember, too, because again, we're not the couriers. Um, yeah. we, we, you know, the, the prices are updated automatically by the courier. So it really depends on what, what the prices are that they're offering. And if they are surcharging at this point because of demand, um, it's going to be reflected on the prices. Um, also, keep in mind, nail polish can only travel by, by a road. Um, it, it can't fly. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's another reason why things might be um, a little bit more expensive when you ship a nail uh, polishes because of that, because you can't put it on a plane. Uh, you have to ship it um, ground. Uh, so, so that's uh, another, another issue which might make the prices a little bit higher for this particular product. And for shipping times, people are just asking approximate shipping times. It looks like the times, again, they'll be a little bit slower yeah. because they have to ship via ground, as Gabrielle just said, and yes. then they just won't be shipped out until starting sometime next week. So our shipping yes. times within the US have actually gotten a lot steadier. So it shouldn't yes. be um, much longer than you'd expect from anywhere else. There's just a yes. teensy tiny delay in uh, fulfilling the order in the first place. So that's just to let you know, so you don't, yeah. you know, if you're ordering it, need it immediately. Well, <laughs> you'll have to wait, unfortunately, but we wanted to let you yeah. guys know and still you'd be able yes. to have these uh, very, very quickly. 
Yeah, for um, unfortunately, we can't really do anything about uh, how they ship nail polish because it has to go ground. So no matter what we do, um, you know, if you're across the country, it's going to take a bit longer because it, it can't go on a plane. So, so it does take a bit longer to get to you, but it's just the nature of this particular product. I, any product that has solvent uh, in it, like uh, perfume or, or nail care, um, has to. So, so it is a little bit longer uh, to get to you because it has to go ground. Wonderful. And then let's see a couple questions. Um, would you ever think of having any sets for the nail polish or any bundles? Yeah, maybe. Uh, yes, in the in the future we will definitely we will have sets um, in special sets and all that kind of stuff. Yes, we definitely will have that. Uh, we're just introducing these now so you can start to enjoy them and we'll have mm -hmm. a bit more product for nail uh later on so uh so just hang tight and we will have new things for you uh soon uh but uh but you know like i said every week we have new things for you so next week we'll have something else and so on so uh so uh, yes uh keep keep an still eye a lot of exciting for... things <laughs> yeah a lot of excitement still coming, coming up, up. Uh, yes um, definitely we asked if there was going to be a mini lipstick set this year kind of a no, not this, not this year. We will have it again next year, but this year we're pretty much done with, uh, we just couldn't do it this year. There's in any way production is just very, very slow. Uh, and there wasn't any way to manufacture them, uh, this year. So unfortunately we couldn't do it, but next year we will, we will bring back our minis next year. Um, we asked if there would be nail polishes available in, um, for international markets for the EU or UK, would that be in the future? Uh, no, because we cannot ship it. Uh, that, yeah. That's really the problem here. We can't ship it. If we could, we, we would, but it, it just won't go on the plane. So we can't, yeah. we can't get it to you. We, we wish we could. Uh, it's, it's, it's not really um, up to us. Unfortunately, we just can't ship it over there. They, they, won't, they won't ship it. Um, if we could do it, we would totally do it. Um, because, uh, like I uh, mentioned last week, we are uh, working with Amazon UK to have products there for you local, but we can't ship this particular product. They just won't won't take it. Yeah, so that's mm -hmm. the unfortunate part. We'd love, of course, yeah. Gabrielle obviously would love to share it everywhere. And if anything changes, we will let you know. We will sure. let you know. Yes, yes. But shipping it is just not an option, unfortunately. We we wish we could, but it, it just won't work. Uh, let's see. Would you have any plans to make nail polish colors to match the cream rouges? The cream rouges. Oh, well, that's an idea. I mean, I have a lot of ideas for different uh, nails and also to give you more options to do uh, vintage style nails and, and manicures um, because there are different types of effects you can do with different things. So I'll be bringing those out as soon as we get our core colors out. I'll be bringing out special uh, effects and things that you can do um, by layering and by doing different things that you can you can do your art deco nails or other types of nail designs uh, on your nails. Awesome. Oh, that's so exciting. <laughs> um, there's some fun things. Uh, I think it's in an old blog. This is a little random. I apologize. But they had nail art even in the 20s. And there's an old video from the mm -hmm. 20s of someone painting on this nail art. And it's very cool. So yeah, I love it. Uh, that's yeah. part of the feature of the line too. Yes. Uh, you guys have been very patient. At the very end, we had a couple of questions about Disney updates. You guys have been very, yes. it's, it is very soon. We very really mean it. <laughs> super, super soon. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it went, but it's very, very soon. <laughs> very soon. We, we really mean it. We really mean soon. Yes, we mean it. perfume, yeah. that's still going to be about a year. For everybody. It's going to be a little bit of time. Yeah, we still haven't heard back. Uh, we still are working on those formulas to get them uh, to to be compliant with everything here in California. So bear with us as we do that. And as soon as we have that figured out, we will put out the perfumes again. Um, we had a question about vintage makeup from Jane yeah. Doe. Uh, a yeah. cool question. Uh, she's uh, says, ask Gabriella about what Glow Base was. Do you remember seeing it in a Constance Bennett beauty video? 
if you know, uh, I, yes. know I know it's in that one video yes, <laughs> I feel like she maybe just made it up <laughs> no no I remember that uh, video actually yeah uh Constance she had a whole line of creams this was an actress and she decided mm -hmm. she wanted to go into beauty and made a whole line of creams under her name uh, and then uh, she did a video of how she used these creams to get ready. And one of them was called the Glow Base. And basically, it was foundation. It's just that she called it Glow Base, but it was really a foundation <laughs> cream. <laughs> it was. It was a, a foundation cream. And she used that. She she would put in, uh, you know, a, an under underlaying uh, cream, and then she would put this foundation cream on top and it basically was cream that had coverage in it so it was a, a cream foundation uh of that period but she called it glow base but uh but it, that's what it was it was cream foundation actually from oh, that cool. period that's so great i love that that it's a you can find it on youtube if you look up constance bennett uh, yeah and yeah, i know she keeps talking about it you can't really see what it is <laughs> yeah I, I yeah i have I some of them actually in my okay. collection i have some of her jars so I, I, I bought some because I was really curious about what these things were actually, just like you are. And in its yeah. foundation, that's what it was. It's foundation. Uh, yeah, it's foundation. That's what it was. Because uh, I was just oh, as funny. curious as you are. Uh, what, what is this stuff? So I, I, I bought a set and, uh, and that's, that's what it was. It was, a, it was a foundation cream. So that's kind of funny that she called it Glow Base. Um, yeah, I love that. Because it, it was a, you know, obviously it was a greasier foundation because it was in the cream. So, yeah. so it would, it would kind of give you a dewy finish because it was, uh, except then, uh, then after that she powders everything. So it's not dewy, but you know, uh, the cream itself would have left you kind of a dewy finish. That's so lovely. Uh, we have more, more requests for you to do a of get ready with me kind of vintage okay. style makeup okay. so if ever you want to so we yeah. have all these announcements you know we don't have time yeah. for these <laughs> yeah i know we have so yeah. many announcements that i don't have time to to do any other uh things we haven't talked about things that we already have because we're just announcing new 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 uh but yeah everything just got squished to the end of the year unfortunately uh we still have the samples if you guys I uh, need yeah. samples. Remember, uh, when you buy anything on the website, just go to the page that has the sample, put the sample in your cart, and then put the code free cream sample. It's on, free on sample cream. Free sample cream. Or oh, free sample cream, sorry. Uh, oh, okay. on, yeah, on, on, the, um, on the checkout there, and they will be free, and you can pick out all of the samples and get them free with your order. So remember, use the code right now. Um, we are trying uh, to do this in another way so that you can use multiple codes because uh, at this point you can only use one code uh, every time you, you shop. So if you use uh, the code for the free samples, then you can't use any other discount codes. So, um, but if you do want the samples, uh, put them in the cart uh, and then just use the code and they will be uh, free for you. And the code is listed on every page with the sample yes. on it. So if you forget yeah. or anything, no big deal. It's right there on that yes. page. So yes, definitely, please, um, please try those out because we're getting a lot of really great feedback starting to come in on the skincare. Yeah. So we just want to hear even more. Super exciting. Um, what lipstick are you wearing today? I am Question. wearing red velvet. Yay. I'm, I'm wearing red velvet too. All right. All right. Yay. Awesome. 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 And then I'm just looking through. So yeah, red velvet day all around. Yep. Super red cool. Velvet day around, yes. Um, a very a good one for this time of year, I feel like. Yes. And let me yes. see. Yes. Oh yes. A uh, last question about uh if you have any other questions, just put them in the chat for sure. Uh, we mm -hmm. asked about cashmere powders, and those might come in the Future. Yes, they'll, they'll be they'll be available later as refills. Uh, we're we're kind of building up our our uh, refill library, basically of powders that you can get. So uh, we started with these five. We'll be adding powders as we go along. So uh, there'll be new powders in there that you can pick from. So you'll have a huge selection of powders uh, in a very short while that you can pick from for uh, all of the compacts to to refill. Uh, let's see. Yay, excellent. 
So it looks like everything's good there. Yes, looking through the questions, lovely. Uh, yes, so again, another exciting day. We have the nail polishes, yep. we have yes. samples as before, and the soft yes. focus powder that is out now. Yes. So for the nail polishes, if you wanna wait a couple minutes, <laughs> you wanna wait a little bit, they're, they're part of our classic line, so they're yes. not gonna immediately sell out. So if you wanna wait a little bit just to let our website kind of calm down, cool out, <laughs> work out its little bugs, it will still be there for you. So yes. Yes. if you're having issues, please just wait and come back and refresh. And then hopefully we are actively, I mean, very literally working on it right now. So Yes, yes, we have people working on it right, right now. So we'll have it up there very, very soon. Uh, and, uh, yeah, and every, every week, like I said, we have uh, an announcement. So next week we'll have another Another launch for you. So very excited, very excited for that. So uh, tune in uh, next week because we will be live and we'll have something very special for you. On Tuesday though, yeah. not Thursday actually, yep. next week. Uh, yeah, Thursday because of Thanksgiving, we will not be uh, live, but I will be taking over on Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, kicking the door down, Gabriela, uh, marching I in the studio. <laughs> Marching in on Tuesday and taking the Tuesday over for my life. <laughs> I love, I love it. I love that. that big time energy for that. But yeah, Gabrielle yes. will be here Tuesday um, yes. with our, our other announcements. So yeah, next Thursday yes. we'll all be enjoying our, our turkey. So yes. we'll, we'll be yes. taking the day off there, but we will yes. be back on Tuesday with another yes. very Tuesday. exciting. So video. so very very short time that you have to wait. So Tuesday. Well, I'll be I'll be going live with a very special announcement. So that will be we're very, very, very fun. I'm very looking forward to that. Uh, but for now, enjoy uh, the nails and uh, try out your favorite shades as soon as it's on there, of course. Uh, and let me know what you think. Uh, you know, remember, uh, prepping is very important for any any kind of colors that you put on the nails. Uh, and if you take a little bit longer, to prep them, you'll end up with a, a huge, uh, 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 you know, uh, version of your nails so much yeah. better, so much mm -hmm. better than than if you just put on nail polish on top of your just bare nail, um, because because it just the 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 polish adheres so much better when you have uh, a nice surface or a surface that is actually made to uh, take the polish and kind of like seal it in. So so. Use your base coat, use your top coat, uh, and two, just two, uh, two coats of this is plenty. I, I only put two coats on mine Ooh, for, for this. Perfect. Um, and, you know, seriously, I could have just put one thick one and it would have worked too. <laughs> Called um, it a day. Yeah, uh, because it, it, they're, they're very, very, um, you know, uh, pigmented, so you don't really need to put too many coats of, of polish on. But if you if you do put a basin on top, it just it just seals so much better, and it definitely makes the polish last uh, so much longer. So I highly recommend that you do that. Hey, excellent! All right, thank you all so much for joining us today. We will see you Tuesday, and until then, goodbye. Bye bye.